Morning. Um. Um. Gonna do. Moved away from. Rave glass railway. And we're on. On Windham. Looking at some of the books. That is literally the whole picture. There is. Yeah, there's nothing else. Saturday is the weekend. Um, I have to stay a little while. Um, I'm not. No. I'm not hundred percent convinced by the subject matter. But it's just. something I've already said rather than something I've gone out and taken Really needs to have this time again. Time this week. That's my pen. I went to college yesterday and I made all the test pieces. Oh, I made the first lot of test pieces. I need to make more test pieces. So the first test pieces I've done are like fringish tests will be used for glaze compatibility tests. Um, there's a few more that need there's no more of those that need doing I need to put slip on some of them. It's all stuff that's essentially pretty dull. Don't destroy it. <laughs> Cause, you know, it's not even repetitive work. Some of it I've done before, but I just want. Some of it I've done before with two of the clay bikes that I've tested. 
could start at the home studio once, but I could never remember the exact stringent rate. So what you do is you draw, you cut out a block of clay, it's rolled out. You draw a 10 centimeter line, mark it out. and then we can when it's fired you can measure it again and you know your line started off at 10 centimeters so however much it shrinks by it's your shrinkage rate like so it's one of those that's easy to work out but it's nothing magical nothing special you just need to know it. the specialist i'm using the specialist trying out a whole bunch of new clay bodies i just want to be able to visually look and go yeah that should come up that sort of thing is also useful when you're looking at um, when you, you know you've got a whole bunch of clays in front of you so you can see if you put them together whether you end up with say you used a slip of a Slide on the stoneware body, but some of the stoneware bodies just don't shrink, and that can cause like peeling and all sorts of other problems. It's more a problem um, when you put glazes on top of those because that can just cause everything to stress and to shear off. And that's essentially what we're testing at this stage. We're not looking at anything particularly creative, just Just seeing what works with the clay. Job on Monday needs to be testing to see if, just testing to see if we can get the um, testing to see what we can get through a a, a, me a mesh of a plumbing a salt screen. whimsical a lot to do so that's it it's a really short one it's under 10 minutes uh thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow